How's it going, YouTube? This is Alpha Prime of the One Elites. Now, uh, for those that don't know, I also do some Transformer reviews from time to time. And uh, I just wanted to share my excitement for this set here because I've been looking for a long time. And personally, I, I'm not a crazy fan of third-party figures. I would prefer to get the original Hasbro ones if I can get my hands on them. But, you know, I've been waiting years for Hasbro to come out with, Takara to come out with uh, Masterpiece Insecticon. And they just haven't done it. And I don't know if they're going to do it anytime soon. They just finished up guys like uh, Hound and Tigertron and, and stuff like that. So I don't think the Insecticons are on the list for a long time now. So I went ahead and I finally... Um, did the plunge and, and purchased these third-party figures. Now, there's three different types of sets if you're wondering which Insecticon set is the best. Now, I like this reformatted one because it is the most cost-effective uh, set or the cost-conscious set on the market. And it's actually one of the ones that are only available. Uh, there's a Bad Cube one that uh, is out on the market for sale, but they're very hard to find. And uh, also, uh, Fans Toys made their own Insecticons, but uh, here's some screenshots of Fan Toys and Bad Cube. And you will be able to find these guys, and if you do find them, they're very expensive. You're going to spend 200 to $400 for a complete set of these Insecticons uh, on the third party on the market there, because they're just sold out and hard to get. So uh, I caved and I went ahead and picked up this uh, reformatted Masterminds Creations R26 Mellon Militia Set Tactical Penetration. And the box art is quite nice. You get three Deluxe Insecticons in this uh, package here. And uh, there you go. Here's them in nice poses. As you can see, they're very articulate figures front to back. They're very nice. And uh, you can see there the transformation for the bug modes is not too bad. It's uh, I've seen a lot worse. And the good thing about the set is you can see that all three of them can store their weapons away which is really, really nice. I like that a lot. Uh, a lot of Masterpiece figures nowadays have to have um, a storage place for the weapons. Now, another thing that you get with this set is uh, face plates, which is really cool. Uh, Bombshell doesn't come with uh, a face plate, unfortunately, but for Kickback and Shrapnel, or Scrapnel as he's called now because of copyright issues, uh, they, don't, they have a separate face, and I'm going to show you them right here. So... I'm just going to zoom in here. Can you see that? So Shrapnel and uh, bomb and uh, Kickback, they have a smiling face with the open mouth kind of gimmick there. So if you want to pose them smiling and uh, causing mischief, you can definitely do that. I'm okay with the originals the way they are. That The face is kind of, uh, you know, um, they're not making a, a pose really. It's like a nonchalant kind of face. And I'm okay with that. I don't mind that at all. Uh, the one thing that I did notice, though, is that uh, these sets are very hefty. Like, they have a nice weight to them. They weigh a lot more than the G1 counterpart. And uh, they have a lot of metal parts and chrome, which is really, really nice. I really do like the set. Uh, but the one bad thing is the, the quality control on uh, the faces. Now, I noticed that my set had a little bit of bleed from the, from the red... Uh, uh, the red coloring for the for the eyes for um, for shrapnel and for kickback. So I had to uh, get my chrome pen. I'm going to put the um, a link to the chrome pen I bought with Molotov, and they're great for touching up chrome. And I was able to touch them up fairly well. It's a the chrome is a, is is a brighter color. Unfortunately, it doesn't match perfectly, but uh, for what I need, it did a good job, and you can't really see it now. So I'm happy with it. And bombshell had a, a little chip there. Uh, you can't really see it in the camera there, but he had a little chip on his uh, on his faceplate there on the far left corner. You can kind of see it in the picture there. And I touched that up with a little bit of chrome paint uh, because it was uh, a, a shiny red uh, plastic they used for uh, the face sculpt. And that was just really bothering me. So quality control wise, the paint is not the greatest, but the figures are very, very nice. They're nice and tight. And... Uh, they hold the poses really nicely, and after transforming them a few times, they still hold nice poses, and their joints haven't become too loose, which is really important. I've noticed like some of these like uh, newer Hasbro figures, you play with them a little bit, and their joints get so loose, the ball joints, uh, that uh, they're no longer fun to play with because they get all loose, and uh, you just have to like display it right out of the box kind of thing. Now, I wanted to touch up on why I like this set so much. You can see there's like nice detail on, uh, 
on the figures. And uh, one thing I also really like is uh, the uh, the fact that you know you can they're so highly posable uh, as opposed to the G1 figures. You can move the the shoulders in and out, and uh, the heads on a ball a ball joint there too, so you can move it up and down, left and right, which is really nice. And the hands are a little bit tiny; they're kind of hard to get out uh, for kickback. But other than that, uh, it's a very very nice figure. I really like him, and he just needs his Decepticon sticker for for him. And uh, for stickers, I love going to toyhacks.com to get my uh, repro labels. I'll probably go pick up one after this video is over. But I uh, just wanted to compare him with uh, his G1 counterpart, Kickback. There's a big size difference, as you can see. Uh, the G1s are not really... Um, uh, they, they, they didn't really have a... A general formula for scaling. So uh, a bot like, for example, Shockwave from the Masterpiece line, it's the same size as the G1 Shockwave, basically. I think the G1 Shockwave is actually a little bit bigger. But you can see here is the Shockwave from the Masterpiece line here. And he's and he's scaling pretty good with these, uh, with these Deluxe Insecticons here. But when you put him next to a G1 Insecticon, uh, he's just a little, really, really tiny and doesn't really, looks more like a mini con there, right? So uh, definitely like the scaling of the Masterpiece figures. And that's basically why we pick up Masterpiece figures, right? We like the scale and we also like the detail that we're going to get with the figures. And uh, more about joints and things like that. You look at Bombshell here. Now Bombshell has got a really cool articulation with his arms. They can go up and they can go down like on the, on the shoulder there. So you can make him look really mean and menacing and, and hold a big pose. And his uh, G1 figure, like on the cartoon, had a lot of chrome or silver in his uh, his bottom portion there. So the, they kind of went for that cartoon kind of aesthetic. But what I really like about Bombshell here is that he's got two antennas. One for his Insecticon mode and one for his robot mode there. So he looks really good in comparison to his uh, G1 counterpart. G1 counterpart is obviously is you know he's still nice. I love you know I love my G1 figures, so uh, you know can't complain about these guys. But you look at that his he's only got the one antenna and it's huge. So if you were to to display it like how the cartoon has it, uh, it doesn't really uh, work too well for for Bombshell. So that's okay though. It's G1 figure. It is what it is, right? So put him aside here. And the uh, last figure we want to uh, to talk about is uh, Shrapnel here, or Scrapnel. He uh, he lost his uh, his name to trademarks, I guess, uh, a while ago. So his name is Scrapnel now, and uh, that's a G1 figure. I think he's actually probably the nicest G1 figure, the most cartoon accurate of the three. Uh, very nice. He's also got the rub sign on his back there, like all three of them do, and... That's one thing that's missing from these uh, from these third party sets. They don't have those G1 rub signs. So if you wanted them to mimic the toys, you could go ahead and pick up uh, uh, a G1 rub sign from Toy Hacks as well, and you could probably put that on the wing there or something like that if you wanted to. But uh, I probably won't do that. I just want to get those Decepticon. Like there is a Mala Militia uh, sticker set on Toy Hacks, so I'm gonna end up picking that up for my Insecticons, and uh, that'll be that. It'll look good on my sh display shelf with the rest of my Masterpiece Decepticons. And uh, I want to just touch up last on on uh, Shrapnel here. So uh, weapons-wise, like, if you notice that this is the G1 gun on, on the left here, and and the Masterpiece one is on the right there. So they're almost the same size, almost identical in terms of size. A little more detail on the, on the third-party version, which is nice. And it fits nicely in his hand. It won't fall out too easily. And I love all that chrome. Like that's just that's just money for me. I love chrome. And he's got those nice shoulders that can go up and down, so you can make him uh, pose a lot really well with lots of different types of poses, which is really really nice. Love that. And his antenna is there. Uh, I guess a lot of people would have it configured like that, but I think he looks cooler with them down. So I'm going to display mine with mine down there. And uh, you'll notice that they all three of them have chest piece. And you can open the chest piece for them, but there's nothing inside as opposed to the old G1 figures where you could actually put like maybe a, a mini bot or something inside there, a Microman inside their chest from the uh, from the J Japanese line. Uh, like here's Shrapnel here from the original and you can open his chest up and there's a lot of space in there. It's hard to see in the photo here, 
but you could put uh, a, a little minifigure in there probably. So that's the that's they kind of wanted to uh, to give you that mimic that in the in the uh, in the third party figure, but uh, there's no nothing there's no storage there in the middle for for these guys. Uh, for the most part, that the middle area is to store their bug legs and, and things like that. So uh, that's uh, my review on these three bots. I really like the set for the price. If you can get it for $100-ish, I think it's a really good deal. Uh, lots of detail. The legs are not the greatest in the bug mode, but uh, you can hide those in robot mode. And they just look fantastic in robot mode and will uh, display really nicely with my Masterpiece collection. Here's another uh, screenshot again with Shockwave in the background. So you can see the scale. And uh, I'm happy with the scale. They're, they're half the size of Shockwave. And here's a Minicon, Frenzy, or Rumble, depending on uh, which series you follow. And he he's only up to their, their, uh, their waist in terms of size there. So they're a good size, these Insecticons. I like them. And uh, I definitely would recommend picking up the set if you haven't done so already. This is Alpha Prime. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share. would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.